Hi guys, so today I'm going to talk to you about decorating your sombrero. Um, you may use your drawing tools uh, down here to click on and choose different um, size materials. You can use your highlighter or your marker or your drawing pen. Um, I'm going to use my marker to color my sombrero in first. Um, and I'm going to choose, oh, that might not be the color I want. That must be a magic tool. So let me undo that. Maybe I'll just stick with my drawing tool over here then. Um, if you click on your tool though, notice that it's on the smallest size. I can actually increase the size of my tool uh, to make it easier to color something in. Um, but what I want you to do is have fun decorating your sombrero. Um, I know it's a little trickier on the computer. Again, if you prefer to print this off and decorate it with markers or crayons, that would work as well. Um, now, why are we doing a sombrero? Um, I think it's important to know it's not stereotyping um, the culture. I think that uh, we need to recognize that a lot of the... Um, Sombreros we see today are very decorative and beautiful, um, and it takes a real artist to make it. Uh, and so um, if you look at traditionally what they would have worn in um, older times, it would not have been so fancy. It would have been more of a basic straw. Ah, I keep messing up. It would have been a basic straw hat, um, but it would have had this rounded top and a very wide brim. And the purpose of it was to keep the sun off of the viewers or off of the people's faces so that um, they didn't have the sun in their eyes. It would also keep them a little bit cooler. So um, it was very, very hot and you didn't want to stand all day in the direct sun and work so they would keep these uh, to, to keep the sun off of them. So when you're doing your designs, uh, think about basic lines that you can use to create some kind of um, almost like stitching. If you remember the video that we just watched, there were different um, patterns that they were sewing into the brim of the design and um, just really beautifully done. So go through, think about different ways that you can decorate your sombrero. It does not have to look like mine. I want you to have fun coming up with your own designs. Um, but put some time and effort into this. Use line and shape to create your image. And when you're done, hit the submit button. Okay, guys, I can't wait to see what you guys make. We will see you guys later. All right. Bye.